so I just finished my writing for the day. Um, 2,200 words and um, I don't know. I'm in a weird place. I messed around and read some equivalent exchange and just reading through equivalent exchange, like just the depth and like that's a good ass book. That's a good ass book. Um, I was writing my ass off and I don't think that this book has that. And if I had been doing this when I was writing equivalent exchange, I would probably be saying the same thing about equivalent exchange. Like, I, like logically, I know that, but I don't know. I had to force myself not to abandon this book today, just being honest. Good morning. Um, <laughs> I can't say that I'm feeling better than I did yesterday because the day is still very young. It is 7.45 in the morning for me right now. Um, I have gotten up. I have done some yoga. I have had some coffee. I've had some water. Um, I filmed a reel. <laughs> I took the arms off my office chair because I was having an issue. Um, I've been having some shoulder pain issues. And um, before I go to the doctor to, you know, I'm going to go to the doctor. They're going to give me, I know what's going to happen because the same thing that happens with my back. They're going to go, they're going to do an x-ray. They're going to say, oh, we can't tell anything from an x-ray. You need a $600 MRI and then I'm going to pay for the MRI and I'm still going to get an additional bill. And they're going to be like, oh, you need to go to physical therapy. I'm going to go to physical therapy. It's not going to help anything really. Um, and they're going to tell me to take some Tylenol. So I'm going to try to skip all of that. <laughs> um, now that I've, I think I've discovered what the problem is because like it is a perfect tie in in terms of time it is a perfect tie into when I replaced my office chair and I think that the arms were too high on my office chair and I did not get one where the arms could be adjusted which is my bad but I am going to um I'm going to be in the market for one where um where the where the where the arms can be adjusted but for now I took the arms off and I am going to, um, I'm going to try to get some writing in. I'm going to give myself, you know, just a couple of sprints this morning because I really do have some other things that need to get done. And for the past two days, I've been so consumed with trying to make writing happen. Um, and not that writing hasn't happened, but I've just been so consumed with it that I'm neglecting the other things that I really, really, really do need to get done. So that is what I'm going to be on today and I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to do my best and then from there, I don't know. I'm hitting my stride with this book. I'm hitting my stride with this book. <laughs> I am so excited that I feel like I have like some grounding, like I'm getting to know my characters and things are developing and things are happening and all my concerns, like once I let go of the idea of it needing to be like equivalent exchange, um, <laughs> yes, yes, um, so I'm really excited, um, and hopefully this feeling lasts, but we shall see. Um, I'm done writing for the day. I got in about 3,000 words today. Got in about 3,000 words yesterday. And now I am done for the day. And I'm about to move on to some other things. Because just because I am done writing for the day does not mean that the day stops. But for now, yes. Good morning. Um, it is already 6.37 in the morning. Um, Friday morning was today. July the 23rd um which is later in the morning than I would have liked to get started I wanted to get up at five and my alarm went off at five and then I closed my eyes again for just a second and boom now it's like 6 20 um so went ahead got up washed my face brushed my teeth all that jazz um and I, I'm just still not um I don't really know what I'm doing in my book right now. So here I am. <laughs> so where I am now 
Ellis and Haley have met. Um, they've had sex twice. Um, and I know the other day I told you guys, you know, that I had read Equivalent Exchange and that that was just really, really throwing me off. Um, part of what that issue was is that, and I'm, I'm actually going to film my Equivalent Exchange. Um, my, I'm filming a, a backlist video today. Part of that issue is that in Equivalent Exchange, like there's this instantaneous certain depth of connection between Karis and Lakin and I felt like that was missing with Ellis and Haley because it didn't look like it did with Karis and Lakin but it's not missing it just looks different because of what they you know because of what they're going through um this is going to be heavy spoilers but what I'm going to be doing is and this has not been introduced um fully in you know, in the book as of yet, but so we have Haley who is a writer, um, and we have Ellis who is a firefighter. Haley is moving into this house built by her great, 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 I think it's three, like I had to sit down and do like a family tree or timeline or whatever. Um, all the way back to the originally Haley Freeman, who because Haley is named, you know, she her she has an ancestral name. Um, the original Haley Freeman was madly in love with an Ellis Boyd firefighter, one of the original Blackwood firefighters back when the name of it was Sugar Leaf, descended from you know connected to. Sugar Valley because Sugar Leaf Forest used to, you know, used to be all the way out there, but it's not anymore due to deforestation and, you know, development and blah, 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 blah. So I'm really weaving some stuff in here. But, um, yeah, so Haley and Ellis Boyd were a thing back in, you know, where, you know, back in whatever times. Um, and I actually think, no, I'm gonna, that's, that's, that's not what it is. She has her great, great, great grandmother who built the house. And I think it was her great, great grandmother who was in love with the other Ellis. I got to figure my timeline out. I got to figure out my, my timeline. Long story short, Haley is not the first Haley and Ellis is not the first Ellis. And they're not the first Haley and Ellis to be in love. But when the race riot happened, um, they're in Blackwood when that race riot happened. Um, that Ellis Boyd was killed and he was killed before, um, before he and Haley, um, actually got married or had any children or anything like that. Um, and that's what prompted that Haley to leave, um, to leave Blackwood or whatever. Um, well, I mean, the race riots were happening too. And so she probably would have left anyway, you know, for her safety. But that's why she didn't just settle in like a Sugar Valley or something like that. Like she went far, far, far because, you know, she, in addition to not necessarily being safe, she was also heartbroken. And so um, now we have the current Ellis and Haley who are not really aware of this history. Haley is going to find it out as she's researching for this article that she's planning to write about her ancestors or whatever, this long form article um, that she's gonna, you know, that she's gonna put together and she's gonna be doing this research for it. And that's how she is going to find out because what's happening between her and Ellis is that they have this, they have this connection that's weird, but they don't know what it's from. And so instead of getting comfortable in it and leaning into it, they're both kind of like, I don't want to say they're cautious of it because it doesn't make them stay away from each other. They really can't stay away from each other. Um, but it's just, it's, it's, it's not as easy of a lean into as Karis and Lakin had. And I think that was throwing me off and making me feel like, oh, this is not as deep. And it's not that it's not as deep or not as whatever. It just looks different. And that's something that I think that a lot of us, um, I don't think that that is like a unique struggle for, for just me or anything like that. I think that that's, you know, that's with a lot of us and you just got to write through it. You just got to write through it. Um, I'm hoping that I'm not being too ambitious with the storyline. Well, not too ambitious. That's not, 
you know, that's that's not it. More than anything, I'm hoping that I can get all my facts straight and keep them straight. <laughs> because it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of figuring out the timing and, you know, when would this have happened and what would have been happening in the city at this point. And, you know, okay, after the riots, you know, what happened and what happened to bring, you know, black people back into Blackwood because Blackwood has not been black. Blackwood has only been Blackwood for like, I don't know, not a long time. But I've got to figure that out because the history of Blackwood also relates to the history of BSU and I can't write history. I can't, I can't clash with the established history that I already have for BSU. So I got to remember what book I even wrote that down in because I have no clue. Um, so that I can go back and reread what I put down, you know, for Blackwood, because Blackwood is an HBCU, Blake, for Blakewood, I'm sorry, because Blakewood is an HBCU, and I don't know, I gotta figure it out. I'm awake. I'm awake. Um, I managed to actually pull myself out of bed. Um, I've been awake for a bit. It's 5.50. It's 5.50. I'm awake. I'm in front of my dock. Uh, <laughs> I say I'm awake, but I'm getting there. I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna get started because I did not get any done yesterday. Ended up, um, I just didn't end up doing anything yesterday. <laughs> and when I say nothing, I mean nothing. Like I shared a sample, so maybe not nothing. I did share my first sample. Um, and it's time, I think, for me to revisit. Yeah, I shared the first sample. And I think it's time for me to revisit my, like, my plan for how, you know, this book rollout is going to go and stuff. But I need to, like, next week it's going to be really fractured and really busy because I'll be going, to, be going back to Texas. I'll be going to Houston for... Um, for house party and so I have stuff to do to get ready for that I still got like some little swag items to put together I need to find like my banners and all of that stuff um my table runner all of that I just got stuff to do um and I'm so stuffy like can y'all hear it like literally building up so we gonna see about today so I need to end this episode. Um, I don't think any writing is going to get done today because I do not, um, I don't feel well. Um, and I'm going to be kind of tapping along doing a little bit here and there, I guess. But outside of that, I really don't feel well. And so um, I'm not going to try to force it. Um, I did manage to get some writing done yesterday, Sunday before um before I really started feeling bad um I think at that point I just thought that I needed to get um my antihistamine in my system um but I think I went too long I'm supposed to be on like an antihistamine regimen and I, I never I never keep up with it um and I think I'm paying for it <laughs> right now and it's literally like the worst worst possible time um, especially since I think I'm kind of in my bag, like, a little bit with this book. Um, just past the 22,000 word mark. No, no. I passed the 21,000 word mark. Um, and it's coming along. It's coming along. I'm happy with, you know, the way it's coming along and all of that. Um, I just, I really wanted to get a lot done before you know, before this trip, before we had to do this little travel again. And I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm about to chill. I'm about to chill and try to rest and try to try to feel better as much as I can. Um, and hopefully, you know, hopefully tomorrow and the next day and the one after that, I'll be able to, you know, I'll be able to get some stuff done, but you know. 
Thanks for watching.